be every second. Hi, I'm Brendan O'Neill. I look after all of the fabrication activities here at Tyndall. We have four fabrication facilities where we can do silicon fabrication, MEMS fabrication, compound semiconductor processing, and we also have an e-beam facility. And recently, we've just installed a new training fab. I'm just standing outside the silicon fabrication area. This is approximately a 250 square meter facility. Um, that we run on CMOS disciplines. So we can do full processing all of the way from taking the bare silicon in right the way through to finished integrated circuits. So we have all of the sub-technologies necessary for IC fabrication. That's wet processing, iron implantation. We have 16 furnace tubes and three of those are LPCVD tubes for deposition where we can deposit polysilicon or silicon nitride. We also have a number of dry etch machines for etching metals, dielectrics and silicon itself. We have a photolithography room which is class 10 in which we have an Ultratech one-to-one -one stepper and we also have a Canon proximity aligner. Um, so everything that's necessary for full IC fabrication can be done within this lab. We don't have to go for any outside services. Also a lot of the work which ends up being MEMS work where we use silicon for its structural properties rather than its semiconducting properties, most of, those, most of that work starts in here as well. So this is our new clean room. It's the pride and joy of the central fabrication group. And in here we have all of our compound semiconductor fabrication and our MEMS fabrication. So even though silicon processing and compound semiconductor fabrication are happening in the same area, we differentiate between the two substrates by having separate equipment for each of the, each of the pieces of work. So there's equipment which is dedicated to silicon MEMS and there's separate equipment which is dedicated to compound semiconductor fabrication. Virtually all of the compound semiconductor fabrication is making devices which emit light, so LEDs, resonant cavity LEDs, edge emitting lasers, vixels, everything that can emit light in the as a semiconductor device is fabricated in here. For MEMS, it's where we take the silicon and use it as a structural material just using the mechanical properties of the silicon rather than the semiconducting properties. So in this clean room, we have 750 square meters of clean room space. And we have it laid out as a combination of ballroom, which is the big open area that you can see behind me, and also as a bay and chase, which is the other technique for laying out a clean room. We have two photolithography areas, one photolithography space for the MEMS activity, and one photolithography space for the compound semiconductor lithography. We use a combination of UV and deep UV optical lithography and also all of the substrates which need nanometer type dimensions can be processed in the e-beam lithography system and transported across. E-beam e lithography is the only system which is common to both silicon and compound semiconductor processing. Underneath the ballroom area, we have a full subfab where all of the, what you might call, dirtier equipment is housed. That's all of the pumps for the cooling water, for deionized water, and all of the gas distribution. And all of these services are taken up through the floor to the equipment which you can see housed in the ballroom space here. The subfab area only extends two-thirds of the way under the clean room, and under the photolithography areas, this, these spaces are built as block on grade for added stability so that we don't get any vibration in the floor, floor space and we need that lack of vibration to print the very, very small dimensions that are necessary. This is our new training facility. We've just opened up this in about the last six weeks. And because of the heavy demand on our other fabrication facilities, it has been very, very difficult to get students in and get students have hands-on exp hands experience in processing. So when we moved our compound semiconductor fabrication area to its new clean room location in the new laboratory building, we left all of the services behind and installed a set of smaller equipment which we can use for training. We've already started training a number of students on all of this equipment and the lab is fully set up to do compound semiconductor fabrication. At the center, it starts to go from the edges. So the first thing to make contact is 
the resistant resistant pages. So we've had outside users um, as part of our Inspire workshop. We gave outside users an opportunity to have hands-on experience in an afternoon workshop. And all of the students who come to Tyndall at some stage will have the opportunity to get some real experience of fabrication.